Hey guys, good morning. So <clears throat> today we're going to be trying to fish for some albies and maybe some bonito if they show up. So I'm just using this little setup right here. Tsunami Carbon Shield 2. Little 3000 reel with 15 pound braid on it. Little tiny swivel, I think it's a size 8, it's really small. Um, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I got this hoagie epoxy jig with the single hook on it. I switched out the treble to one of these and I got <clears throat> two other rods. Pretty much the same setup, but um, as far as rod, rod reel, line, um, leader and swivel, then the lures are all switched out. So it's a little early right now, so I don't think we're gonna see anything for another half an hour, but I'm gonna camp out and see if something shows up. I already see a ton of bait, which is good. They're little bay anchovies, so it's something here for them to eat. That's good, and the water's flat. It's like a sheet of glass right now, so perfect conditions. So we have Hurricane Ira down south right now. I'm um, not sure how the wind's gonna work out later. I mean, the weather reports have been off for the most part as far as the marine forecast and that type of thing. So I don't know what to expect. So we will see. We're gonna camp out in the center over here somewhere and just watch. Um, there's no sense in paddling all over God's creation to go look for these fish. So they'll come to us if they're around. Striper? Wow, what is that? Might be a decent sized striper, we'll see. the rock oh wow shoot that's definitely a keeper oh wow <laughs> I just got that out of an epoxy <laughs> look at the size of that thing it's definitely over 28 very scrawny though wow he choked that thing Oh, wow, that's a scrawny striper, but it'll be good. Good dinner. Let me figure out how to get that. Wow, he choked that thing. I do need this back though, please. There you go. Make sure he didn't damage the, the um, leader. All right, we're gonna keep him. That's definitely, there's no doubt in my mind that's a keeper. So I'm gonna keep this guy. I was not expecting a keeper striper from over here, but nice. All right, got dinner tonight, that's good. I don't know if you could see that, there are some, what the hell is that? 
There's something huge down there. Is that a sea bass? There's something big down there. I could see all the fish down there. I don't know what that was down there earlier. It's something probably like, ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a tatog. It's a big old tatog. That's definitely a very, very big tatog. He's probably like 20 inches. Uh oh, go time, go time, go time, go time. Scoot up a little bit. Can't tell if those are stripers or, oh, those are not stripers. Missed him twice. Got him, got him. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to get super excited so you guys can hear the reel. He come off? Oh, no, he's still there. It feels like a rock. It's not good. That feels like a rock. Oh, he is definitely stuck on a rock. He's trying to wrap himself around the rock. That's nice. Now I have to check. Now I have to check my. Oh my goodness, that's a nice one. Oh, he fell off. Oh. Oh. There is an Albie. Ooh, I think that's an Albie. Oh yeah, that's an Albie. Hopefully he doesn't get me in the rocks again over there.
Ah, oh, fell off. <laughs> That's a second one today. Alrighty guys, so I'm just fishing for whatever right now. It's been two hours ow, since um, I've caught anything, so looks like I'm gonna do some bottom fishing. So I just got a little to tug. Oh. Got some scup for the dinner table, so I'm just fishing on top of a um, big pile of rocks over here. Hopefully I can get a chunky to tug because I've seen them over here. Oh, he popped off, he popped off. It felt like a scup. Man, these things are vicious right here. Wow. <laughs> Some nice scup. Oh, another one fell off. Yeah, I haven't seen Albies in a while. Sort of frustrating, but yeah, it's all right. I saw a tog, a tog over here that was at least 10 pounds. At least. <clears throat> This rock was over here somewhere. Let's see how good my guess is. I think it was right over here. What I'm hoping is when the, as the tide turns, cause it's high tide right now, I'm hoping as it goes out, I might see some more, more fish come around. Hooked up to something, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Feels like a striper. Huh. Not seeing any more albies. I see all the boats charging over there, but they might be seeing <clears throat> uh, stripers. Definitely a lot of stripers around this morning. Last time I came up here, there were none. Now the sea bass, I see sea bass charging around. Tatog. Oh, just heard something. All right, let's get this thing in. I can see him spitting up um, bay anchovies. Ooh. Ooh. another one. Miss! Miss! Oh! Got him! Is that a bluefish? Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, striper. Yeah, that weird purpley sheen to him for a second. I 
There you go. Nice release. They're everywhere, so we just gotta wait. Wait for them to come to us, hopefully. Oh, they're there. <laughs> Hold the hook. Oh, that was a good call. Here they come. Big old lot of them. Got him. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh. Thought he came off for a minute. I think it's a really small one. Oh man. Oh man, these things have all kinds of will to try and get off this thing. They're good. Wow. Oh boy. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them jumping in front of me. Oh man. Maybe this one's bigger than I thought. Ooh, that's actually a nice one. Need one more for, oh, is that, is that a Benito or an Albi? Oh man. Oh, that's a nice one. That might be a crab bait right there.
Holy smokes, they're everywhere. He's gonna end up falling off the hook before I get him in. Oh, man. That's the only problem with light gear. You sacrifice being able to cast far for backbone of the rod. Wow, that's a nice one. That's, that's a nice one right there. It's probably gonna pop off. Woo, beautiful fish. That was a nice long feed. That's the longest feed I've seen in a, in a while. Yeah, I'm gonna keep one for crab bait and then get some little ones for fun. Good job, fish. Ooh. Oh yeah, he wasn't going anywhere. Wow, look at that. It's a nice fish right there. So we're gonna use him for crab bait. All right, rest for fun. That was a good, 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 good fight. There's something down there. I don't know what it, oh, what is that? There's something biting this thing down there. Oh, well, it might be a sea, might be a sea bass. Oh, it is a sea bass. Whew. Means there's a lot of bait around. There's a bunch of them down there. See how many sea bass are down there while we're waiting for albies. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, there they are. And the boat's gone too, whoop, whoop. Albie police are coming. Let's see if they come back up. They're swimming towards me right now, so. Oh, look at that. Let me see where they go. Oh. Ooh, man. Dang it. Missed it. It's close. Okay, so at this point I've had my fun, about to head back in. It's getting a little too sporty for my liking, so just stay tuned for the summary I had of the day. Alright, so this is the striper I got on my bump board. Oh. That's where his top fin's longer than his bottom. I don't know. 32? That's weird. Okay, 32. Okay guys, so we had a good day out alby fishing. I caught way more stripers than albies. So um, caught one good size alby. I missed two other ones that actually snapped off on rocks. The The area where these albies were sitting today was, was just st um, a minefield. It was rocks everywhere, um, like car sized rocks. So they were just swim out grab your bait, swim out, and then wrap the, wrap the line around these rocks and then snap off. So I lost, yeah, two day. One of them was really nice, that first one that I missed, and then I did get one nice one. So I um, might try and get out maybe one more time, and then it's to tog time. So um, there are tons of, there are a good amount of albies still down in the Cape, and they're eating these little tiny bay anchovies that probably inch and a quarter long, they're tiny. Um, so I think at this point, these albies will eat pretty much anything because I caught them on white, spo white spoons, um, epoxies, pink, um, pink ones, orange. I'm trying to think what else, just plain silver, like chrome. I don't, I don't know if they care too much at this point. So, and today I caught a keeper striper, it's 32 inches. And I caught tons of schoolies. I got to tog all around the rocks over there. It's gonna be a really good spot for to tog this year. Um, my first time actually fishing over there, or first time fishing over there this year. 
And then I did see a monster to tog in like 10 feet of water. The water is super clear today. And I saw this thing swim right underneath my kayak and it was enormous. So it was over 20, well over 20 inches. And he paused for a second to look at my epoxy then he just kept going. I was hoping he would come back for it, but it is what it is. So I just need to go get some green crab and then um, we'll try it again. So didn't use any crazy tackle today, 3000 series reel seven foot rod that's rated up to I think one of them's an ounce and the other two are three quarter ounce so nothing crazy and you still see that even with the 15 pound test and the light rod I still was able to bring in a good size striper and obviously all these so um, it's all in the management of the drag and um, manipulating the fish with your arms your body that type of thing that all that contributes to the drag and getting that fish in. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. Again, I hope to be to tog fishing soon. All right, thanks.